So, today marks the 20th anniversary of the original airing of Justice League the Animated Series, starting with the Seton Hickrit Origins men's TV movie, which was broken up into three parts on later airings, which kicked off another acclaimed animated series in the DC Animated Universe. I mean, this isn't quite a nostalgic rave, nor is this the exact why you want to approach this video before, but in my case, it's now or never. For I mean, ever since, it definitely stood out at me. And growing up, it wasn't just my wasn't just like another another great outing for the bigger names of the DC universe, like Superman and Batman, but also almost my introduction to oh my first introduction to other ones like. The I think the Green Lantern Corps and the Motion Manhunter being big ones I really enjoyed. And in particular, or the John Stewart version of the character is probably, is probably my favorite Manhattan Lantern, and I definitely have this show to thank for that. And also, definitely had some great use of Wonder Woman and the Wally West version of Flash, who tends to be a bit older and more flirtatious than the. A younger Barry Allen version of the character, I mean, her and also Hawk Girl, who is definitely the daughter of daughter of the Hawkman, and in particular the previous Hawkman and the whole world beforehand. Since, and as someone who's been watching these again, and and to do this video, oh. I mean, the remaster copies on my HBO Max profile look fantastic. I mean, my display is all maxed out 1080p. I am just honestly certainly amazed at how well this has held up for time, especially. Yeah. While Kevin Conroy reprises as well as Batman in this series, this also is like the, I believe, the first, first animated version of Superman to be voiced by George Newbern. Who replaces Tim Daly and has been known has been known by myself and many others was also the same voice as Sephiroth in most versions of Final Fantasy VII, in which those are basically about as opposite ends of the spectrum as you get Superman and Sephiroth. Oh, I mean, and with that in mind, find and other voice roles the main cast include. Maria Canals as Hot Girl, Susan Eisenberg as Wonder Woman, and Phil Lamar her as as the John Stewart Green Lantern, and who among other roles, the top of Shamai Jack as well as was Hermes on Futurama. Uh, so he's definitely done quite a few voice roles in his life, and this is another one I really enjoy. I mean, and Carl Lumbly is voicing the Motion Manhunter. John Jones, and interestingly enough, I never realized this when I was younger, but apparently, around the same time, Michael Rosenbaum was was playing the younger Lex Luthor in Smallville. He was also who uh, uh, voicing in in the Flash in this series. There was also a body swap episode with her where they switch Edge in the subsequent single Limited, and well. We'll get to that later. Both those scenes are quite amusing, in where Lex tries to figure out his identity but has no idea who, who that is when he pulls his mask off. And another line that really resonates with me, especially in the circumstances Did you wash your hands? No, because I'm evil. <laughs> On the flip side of the coin, I mean, we also have, have quite the variance of the Rose Gallery as well. I mean, not just big names like the Joker and Lex Luthor, but we also have have other ones like Maxwell Lord, Lord as well as well as the has the Manhunter Core, or so definitely as a, as a kid, that was just my first exposure to all those characters, characters. And looking back, given how I just finished rewatching in in the two part we introduced Aquaman. This also show had a better keen on Patrick Wilson's version. Yeah, I said it. I'm glad the sequel is going to be, even though it's going to have him, they're still going to be doing him idea of making 
Black Manta, the main antagonist, and also my first exposure to more powerful version of Aquaman over a decade before or the DCU version and really help helps help gosh Jason Momoa's interpretation like but the one comes between them the Atlantean demigod human form arm and definitely really liking how much Grant Morrison's run on the comic influenced the series I mean and in terms of tone tone and much like the other acclaimed DCAU a series like Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, which I will definitely be talking about in your future, Batman Beyond, the success of Justice Unlimited, and even Zeta Project and Static Shock, Hawk, have managed to really raise a bar, I mean, on the, these kind of ones. Like, they were not the first superhero TV series, let alone on the first anime DC adaptations, but they were... I honestly believe I'm on the first to show the potential of the medium of storytelling and definitely end up setting a lot of precedents that uh, even in some capacity, be they conscious or not, for animated TV and for years to come. I mean, in terms of quality storytelling, like how that a series can be both career driven and successful, I mean, as well, I mean. It's definitely a one that I've I rarely have ever had the chance to revisit, as it, and definitely I'm glad it was not afraid to really take risks. I mean, I mean the two part of Legends is another one, and I am definitely a still stays with me until this time. I'm especially in the DM on the second part. I won't be spoiling it here, which will give an idea of how how surprising it was, uh, as both in perspective of of someone who's nine and someone who's twenty nine. I mean, so it's definitely a let you know how much it speaks to me and and how how even before uh, they're making movies of these characters characters and presumably will continue to do so. So I definitely think the show will stay with me for years to come. I mean again, it's also kinda of like a bit of a preview for another uh, other videos I want to be doing to help close out this year. I finished reading this book I was uh, was assigned for my class and I would just give you something and before I had to write my assignment for it and anyway that will be all for now. Oh, and I'll see you in a couple days for my look at Pokemon, for when I get Pokemon Moonshine. I'm going to share in April. Take care, everyone. Mm.